Did you know that a DevOps professional can start earning from 6 lakh per annum to 12 lakh per annum as a fresher? And this number even goes higher for experienced DevOps professionals. This is an era of freelancing and there are tons of opportunities as a freelancer in DevOps. If you are from a non-IT background, from support, from testing and want to move into DevOps, this is the best time to switch. Hello, friends, you all are the Train with Shubham channel. Pe. I am Shubham Londe, also known as DevOps wale bhaiya, and I train people, I mentor them to get a job into DevOps, Python, into IT industry. I have trained more than thousands of students in DevOps engineering. Most of them have got 15 plus offers as DevOps engineers. You can see their smiling faces. This video is about how you can become a DevOps engineer from scratch. If you have given yourself three months, what is the roadmap? How you can become a DevOps engineer? Let's get started. Linux is one of the most important or the basic fundamental things for DevOps because 90% of the applications on internet are basically running on Linux. Once you master Linux, the Linux architecture, Linux command, you have the first step into becoming a DevOps engineer. What is DevOps? Development operations. So a collaboration, communication between development and operation teams, that is DevOps. And that is why you need knowledge of Git and GitHub. How to manage code, how to version control code, and how to collaborate with developers. That is something you should be having. So knowledge of Git and GitHub is very important. Once you have that, you should be moving to Docker. Because everything on internet is now in a virtual environment. Everything is containerized. So you need lightweight applications to run on any system. And that's where Docker plays an important role. Once you understand Docker, time to level up things and move into Docker Swarm, where you will be understanding what are Docker services, what are Docker stacks, what is a Docker Compose file, what is a Docker Swarm. So these things will help you in production ready deployment. Once you understand the concept of master slave, Docker swarm, it will be much easier for you to understand how a developer commits his code and that code runs in production, which means there is a continuous integration or continuous deployment. And that happens due to tools like Jenkins, Circle CI. These helps a lot in CI CD operations. And once you master Jenkins, it's time to go one level up into Kubernetes. If you can see the symbol, it is how uh, a captain of a ship basically holds the entire ship. And what are Docker? If you see this, Dockers are Docker containers. So if you are able to manage all these containers, as a service, as a cluster, that is basically your Kubernetes. So as a DevOps engineer, it's very important to understand Kubernetes. But once you know how Kubernetes work, its next step is cloud. You have to understand how cloud engineering works, how cloud service provider works. So cloud services can be given by AWS, Azure, GCP. You can pick any one of the cloud and start working it right away. And once you have the knowledge of cloud, it's time to level up and do infrastructure as code. Nowadays, everything is on code. If you want to create a server, a database, a network, a virtual private cloud, everything has to be done using code. And this reduces the error rate and the manual intervention. This can be achieved using Terraform cloud formation. And let's say as a DevOps engineer, you have to maintain 50 or hundreds of servers. You have to update their configurations. So you need a configuration management tool like Chef and Ansible. Now you have got a good idea of Linux, Git GitHub, Docker, Jenkins, Kubernetes, Terraform. It's time for monitoring. So you can use Grafana, Prometheus to monitor your applications. And that is how a DevOps engineer will be created if you master these skills. So what if I tell you, you can learn all these skills in just two months, followed by one month of preparation for those jobs. DevOps Zero to Hero, which is a flagship course of Train with Shabam, 
Previously, it was available in Hindi. Now, it is available in English. And we are starting this course from 8th of April. The classes will be only on weekends. So, we will be having 16 live sessions where we will be learning all these tools. There are no prerequisite. Anyone can learn DevOps. There are six plus projects that to industry grade. You will be getting one month of job assistance, mock interviews, resume reviews, and all this is available in just simple step. Just go to Google and all you have to do is write train with Shubham. You'll see this link. Just open that link and go to click for English courses and you will find the DevOps zero to hero in English. In just seven days, we have our batch started and just for early bird offer, we have this price which will soon be increased because this is a limited course. We only have 100 seats available. That's what DevOps Zero to Hero English is all about. By the way, you must be thinking, do we need programming for DevOps? Yes, we do. And that is why I have a free Python for DevOps masterclass for you. And that is tomorrow, Saturday 1st April 6 to 9 p.m. on MS Teams. All of the links are in description. Definitely check this out and I will see you all in the next video. Yaha tak video ko dekhne ke liye dhanyavad. Dekhte rahe train with Shubham channel. Thanks for watching.